What's going on fellow band critics? I'm Steven and today right now we're about to check out that purple marching machine from Miles College performing at that high school band day. Man, I'm so, so excited that all of these HBCU band days are looking like they're averaging close to almost a thousand kids out there. I know I keep saying that every time I see it, but that's what it looks to feel like. It just warms my heart. Doesn't it warm your heart too? Seeing all these young people doing something positive, staying off the streets, learning something better than themselves by just participating in something like this. Because we all know musicians are just generally smarter than the average crowd. That's a fact. The footage you're about to see in here is courtesy of Smash Time Productions, so we already know it's going to be off the chain because they don't play around over there at Smash Time, and you can find this link in the description and in the cards at the top. Be sure to go watch the original video so you can see it in its entirety without any interruptions, and it's going to look and sound better on that channel, so do that. All right, so Miles College, under the direction of Professor Snipes. Is it Snipes? I believe it's Snipes. Sykes? It's Snipes. I'm going with Snipes. I'm going to look this up and I'm going to keep this edit in and see if I was right or wrong or not. But I believe it's Snipes. And one of the assistant directors is Professor Brian Knowles, which was my section leader at Tennessee State when I first got there. So when it comes to the lower brass and trombone section, they're always very, very top notch because he's one of the best trombone players I've ever met and heard in my life. So that's just me honestly saying that personally. So I'm looking forward to hearing it's about to go down with all of these high schoolers. Sit back and relax, grab your popcorn and snacks. And without any further ado, let's do what it do. If you'd like to make video requests, consider becoming a producer or here's my cash app. So those are the two ways you can request videos. Moving on. Smash time is in the building! Play picks up too. Wow, here we go. Good lord, look at all that. All those tubas. Look, tubas are deep all over the country. That's what I'm talking about, setting those foundations. You already know what I'm thinking. Is this high school group the best college high school group we've heard so far? Let's find out. In my personal opinion is I think Miles College has one of the best arrangements of this song. You know, via, via. See you there, dancers. All right, tubas. Good. <laughs> Shout out to the staff and all the leadership over there, man. These young people sound amazing. How long was this? How long did you all stay together? Just one day? Or was it a couple days? Right, my computer screen just got all dark for no reason. Let's go, Ben. Back when I was in Tennessee State Band, when this song came out, I think this was my favorite song that we played. I think it was my freshman year. I think so. I think it was my freshman year. Sound good, Tupus.
right, let's go, man. Let's go, let's go. They're taking up the entire side of that stand over there. <laughs> Down. Great job, man. Good lord. <laughs> Have y'all noticed every time Smash Time does a video, it feels like you're actually there, even when he's cutting to the wide shot? Shout out to Smash Time. Great job, great job. Always. What we got, man? What we got? What's next? Outside. Oh. Oh. Woo. Let's go, Mellows. I forgot that note goes up right there. Albert Slow Alumni Stadium, all right. See, that's what you want to get to. Get to the point where you can donate a whole stadium back to your school. I'm working on it. What y'all think? The baritones or the mellow tones? Which section is actually giving that to you? You know what I mean? It's Sunday. We all like our band fixes, and we all know how some sections, some instruments, they just give you that, mm, you know what I'm saying? Right now, it's the mellow tones for me. The baritones are creeping up right there. Let's go, y'all, let's go. And trombones, y'all already know y'all holding it down. Tuba sound good. Nice to see you, Woodwinds. <laughs> Ooh, trumpet. Yes, great job, great job. I can hear the trumpets too playing up there. No one's hanging over. Fantastic. Great job, man. Holy smokes. What else we got? Uh oh. Y'all see there's people standing on top of the building up there? Is that like just a normal spot people go to? And like, the band's so hyped, they got people just standing on top of the building up there. That's, it's kind of crazy. There's no rail or nothing. Y'all be safe. Let's go, Melophones. Don't be scared. Symbols, get into it. Look what the college people are doing. Get into it. <laughs> you already know what's up. You playing symbols and HBCU band. You better, man, look. <laughs> Is my mic too loud? I'm seeing some peeking over here. Let's try that. Nice job, man. Nice job.
Aí, os dois aí. Look good, guys. Look good. Look real good. Don't you just feel good? Don't you stuff make you feel good, right? On the Sunday. Nice trouble. Nice job, nice job. Sound really good, man. Really nice. Nice and clean, nice and full, very powerful. Great job, leadership, great job, staff. There you go. That's Professor Brian Nolls right there. The man I was talking about earlier who was my sexual leader when I first went to Tennessee State. It's a first down for the offense. So this purple and gold game. Don't be scared, high schoolers. Prepare to run up. Just sort of run up and get done up. That tuba line. I like when the bass line actually has a musical flow to it, you know what I mean? Not just the same repetitiveness over and over. Yeah. Poor progressions. Love it, love it, love it. Nice one, boys. <laughs> one day, I'm going to give me some symbols and go crazy. Let's make sure we got the ambulance on standby. I'm not going to like cut off the road or something. <laughs> Yes, ma'am, ladies. Nice job, I like that one. <laughs> and down. Great job, man. Great job. If you love bands like I do and enjoy my videos, be sure to subscribe to my channel for more super awesome, great, 
kick ass content. All right, so there you have it. That was Miles College featuring the high schoolers in their high school day band event. Forgive me for slaughtering that name, but you know, the spring game with the, I guess that's the purple and gold game there. And man, that band sounded very good, very nice. Played a nice, nice bit of songs too. I feel like that group played the most songs than the other universities that had their high school band day. So it's a lot right there. It says a lot to everyone who was involved. Lots of good stuff, lots of great sounds, powerful sounds, good stuff. Shout out to all the band directors, the leaders, and the high school students, of course, for actually going out there and doing something positive and bettering yourself. When it comes to the overall sound of the band, let me tell you something, Miles College, for me, has sounded great for a long time. Yes, we may not see them in the big, big, big events like the other big schools, stuff like that, but every time I hear Miles, they are literally very top notch, I would say so. I love the overall sound of the band, how the arrangements are. I mentioned before about my section leader who went there when I was at Tennessee State, Professor Brian Knowles there, that lower brass has always been on point, and trombones are very top notch. We did have that little funny mishap during the season though, where I think a trombone player played a note at the end of the song and almost messed up, a, well, kind of messed up their perfect score that I was giving them. But you know, things happen, stuff like that, I'm pretty sure. That person was corrected very quickly. If this was your first time participating in something like this, how was it? How do you feel? Was it a lot of fun? How long was it? Was this just a day? Did you all go up there and learn all those songs in a day? Was it two days? Maybe it was two days. I'm gonna bank that it's two days. I'm betting that it's two days. Let me know down in the comments how long it was. For the current band members, what are you excited about next year? Are you excited to bring in some new people that you met, like the up and coming ones? For the seniors who are graduating high school, going to Miles College, are you ready to be a part of the purple marching machine of Miles College? Because my gosh, that band is on fire and they are not stopping or slowing down for no one. If you're a senior at Miles College and this is your last go around, congratulations. Very very proud of all of you to go out there into the workforce and represent yourselves, your family, and our HBCU culture as best that you can. And I promise you, since you were in the marching band at HBCU, you already have a leg up than most other people. And I guarantee you're gonna be more successful than others. Just apply what you learned in your band program to the workforce, and I guarantee you, you're gonna be successful in whatever success is to you. Let's talk about these tubas. It's like a tuba phenomenon going over the country right now. It's all over everywhere. Even high schools I'm seeing, the tuba section is starting to get big again. Usually from the research I've gathered, once the sousaphone section starts getting bigger, it's like a domino effect. It's just like when you're building a foundation. Mark my words, tuba sections are getting big everywhere. Then after that, I guarantee you the lower brass is gonna start beefing up then the trumpets, mellophones, and just kind of just filters on down through the band. When the woodwind sections start becoming huge, I guarantee you the brass sections are gonna already be a lot bigger than what you're thinking. And that's great because that's letting us know how bright the future is for all HBCU band culture. When that COVID stuff happened, you know, people were kind of scared. People were thinking that like, you know, maybe the things would get cut, but us as the human species, we persevered through those times. And now I'm starting to see bands getting back to the sizes that I remember them being when I was in school back in the early 2000s. However, the sounds of the band is what's the most impressive. All the bands, in my opinion, are just getting better and better and better. Some bands have new leadership that's coming in. Some bands have the old ones, it doesn't matter, but it feels like everyone's getting back into a great groove on how things used to be. And the quality is starting to come up a lot in most bands. Miles College is one of those bands, and I promise you there's someone to look out for because if this is an indication of the type of teaching that's going on over there, they can take a group of high schoolers, or yeah, I believe they're all high schoolers, and work with them for just a few days and make them sound this good. I mean, that sounded better than most other college bands during the season. You know who I'm talking about. There's some college bands that can't even sound that good and they just have all adults in their band, you know what I'm saying? Or 18 and up, whatever that age is, and they go to college, you know, 18, right? Yeah, some up in there. But great job, Miles College. For the fall season coming up, the Miles College Purple Marching Machine is not to be played with. How do you feel about them? What was your favorite section? Let me know. Comment down below. Peace. Thank you for tuning in to Stephen Holiday Band Critic. If you enjoyed what you saw, don't forget to hit the like button, share with your friends, and drop a comment sharing your thoughts. For more captivating content like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel. You can further support this channel by clicking the thanks button next to the subscribe button or purchasing some of our new merch. Consider becoming a value channel member for exclusive access to behind-the-scenes footage, special live streams, and tutorial videos. Until next time, play in tune and don't hang over.